Alrighty guys, and welcome back to more Bravely Second. I'm highly enjoying this game. Just like the first game, I highly enjoyed the, uh, the, the gameplay of the first game. Even though I got spoiled, I still had tons of fun playing the gameplay. The gameplay is just OD. I love it. I just love the ridiculous stuff you can do. But right now, what we want to do... Someone in the chat just said there's a fox in here. We're going to look for a fox to see if we can view a skip. And uh, maybe the fox was actually all the way down in the, uh, the crater here. Just to double check. Nope. So we just have to look for the fox. He's somewhere. He's probably at the beginning. Because we have to walk all the way out anyway. I doubt he'll be like over here or something. But we just want to make sure. Just in case so we don't miss that. Because the fox, the fox is actually missable in some areas. Yeah, like, also, I just got done saying this, like, on stream, but from here on out, we want to start stealing stuff from, uh, bosses with the thief knife. We have a thief knife, and I'm sure, like, the bosses usually have some strong equipment or some strong items that you can use, uh, and we want to make sure we actually have access to those items, so we want to start stealing more, because in Bravely Default, like, some bosses gave you some really good equipment, like, uh, the Swordmaster gave you, like, the Masamu uh, the Masamune or whatever, the cat the Katana. Like, you can go and fight, like, the side stories over and over again. You can actually steal stuff. And every time you would steal some better stuff from, like, the, the bosses. So, we want to start stealing from here on out. So, whenever there's a boss, remind me in the chat. Remind me to steal. Because I feel like chilling, or it's chilling, stealing is actually probably going to be very useful. Entirely, I can I can already still or see it being very useful right now, especially if we can still like bomb fragments from enemies. Like stealing those kind of weapons or items would actually come in handy, held for sure. Because if you don't have access to like the internet, even still, they give you like friend stuff for free. They give you free friends, so you don't really need to go around to like a convention or walk around to get uh, the street pass, so you can start building uh, the moon base. But for the most part, yeah, what we want to do is just start stealing stuff and uh, having access to like higher tier items like those bomb arms. Dude, we want to be able to steal those. Like we want to find an enemy and steal those items and just keep stealing them until we get like maybe stack 10 of them, use some items. Like, oh my God, dude, I can see this game being easily, just so easily speed around. There's just too many tools. It's so convenient to speedrun. It's so it's this game allows for you to play the game however you want. It allows you to play however you want, which is pretty nice. I don't see the fox though. It looks like we were fed some misinformation. I don't see the fox anywhere. That's fine. Maybe he's up here by the adventurer. He probably is. I guess not. Your Majesty, you might be interested to know that a new ball landed on Luxendark. Tell me more. It seems the poor thing's already croaked. Done in by Eugenie Olja and his motley crew. Felling a ball is no small task. His strength grows. A pitiful little thing, this ball. Wiped out by a boy before it even had the chance to say hello. It must have taken quite the beating from the moon's defenses. And what of our own specimen? Sleeping peacefully, your majesty. Dreaming sweet ball dreams. That will do. It is but one small part of our grand plan. We will rouse it from slumber when the time is right. <laughs> but of course, your majesty. Why would you speed run? Because why not? <laughs> a lot of people just enjoy speed running games, beating it as fast as possible. I mean, they don't have to skip the story. I mean, you can watch it, but for a speed run, you would want to try to challenge yourself to beat it as fast as possible and see what you can do. To be honest, like I, I enjoy watching speed runners, just to see how busted they can make the game, just how to see how fast they beat it. They show off some of the most amazing strategies that I've never would have thought of. Either using exploits or just glitches. Like that stuff is just amazing. 
Like, sure, they might play it through it casually once just so they know what the hell they're doing and then play through it again just to speedrun it. Why speedrun the game? Why not? I mean, I can see, like, why speedrun it on the first try? Like, why, why speedrun it on your first attempt? Oh, man, it's coming down hard outside, dude. Man. <laughs> I'm afraid my power is going to go out. Oh, God, is that hell? Oh, my God, it's hell. What the hell, man? What the hell is hell? Hold on, maybe I can, yeah, I got, a, I got a webcam that reaches that far, so hold on, I'm going to show you guys that it's raining. Look at that hail. Look at that hail, man. What the hail? Backyard cam right now. Look at them houses. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Look at that hell, dude. Jesus. It was thundering, too. I don't know. Like, like I was just saying, speedrunning can also help you build certain skills, like strategizing, execution, Timing, it helps you. It helps you. Just like different types of games. Doing certain things in certain games actually help you overall. Like playing different types of games help you understand like game mechanics. So if you were to speed run one game, like, okay, I wonder if I can apply this here in this different game, you know? Like footsies. You can apply footsies from a fighting game and in a, in a game that requires spacing. Like maybe Mega Man or like a platforming. Like if you got good spacing. You'll probably be good at platforming games. That's how I feel, at least. You can, you can apply, like, different game strategy. Like, you can apply different fundamentals from games you played to different games. Which is why I like uh, speedruns, because they implement that. They do that. They take advantage of that. Rain and Harina? Now that's something you don't see every day. Oh, man. Couldn't it have waited till we got back to El Campus? We'll be soaked. Cheer up, everyone. I'll have you know I prepared for this very occasion. Oh, boy. What's that? Voila! Whoa. Ball skin umbrellas. No That's a pretty cool. Shove. There's one for everyone. Wait, 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 wait. Ball skin umbrellas? Did say ball skin? What? Ball skin? Murder, girl. This is kind of gross, you know. Ball skin. I'm talking about balls deep. I'm talking about balls deep. <laughs> <laughs> Way to be resourceful, you. Thanks, sir. Coming from you, that means a lot. But you, where is your own umbrella? Well, only four of them were still in good condition. But don't worry about me. I don't mind a little rain. Don't worry? H how can you tell me not to worry? Here, you. We can share. Are you sure? Mais oui, we can't have you catching cold. Here, come closer. Oh, Magnolia with the tech! She got the tech! Oh, she running that game! Y'all was talking about females can't run game. Magnolia is running his game on you right now. Uh, thank you. Running that game. Oh! You, you're all red. Have you come down with a fever? No, it's nothing, really. Idia, what's wrong with you? Because he's close to you, <laughs> huh? Don't you two look cozy? Yes, we are. So? I don't know about where you come from, but here in Luxendark, when a boy and a girl share an umbrella... They smash! <laughs> Why? <laughs> A couple, you say? Nah. Oh boy. Oh, you. Your other shoulder is getting soaked. Uh, I'm fine. Really. What about you? Aren't your feet getting wet? Don't worry about me. Just try to stay dry. I promise you, I'm fine. 
Watch your feet, okay? You're not trying to be oh. embarrassed. <laughs> These two are really hitting it off, aren't they? Still, that umbrella is awfully small for two people. Here, you can use my. Oh! <laughs> Damn, drop kicked him. Damn, my dear. <laughs> oh, out here, my she just out here drop kicking people. <laughs> she out here drop kicking people, dude. <laughs> She did a Liu Kang kick too. Oops, my hand slipped. Dude, you, you, you kicked him. Me. <laughs> hand, leg, what's the difference? And if Please. you think I'm gonna let you under my umbrella, you've got another thing coming. Ella, you've yeah. made your bed. Now get soaked in it. Damn. What did I do now? T Dog did nothing wrong. He did nothing wrong, but he got drop kicked in his face. He got drop kicked in his face. Da -da 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 -da. All right, we're gonna save the game. Murgurger rage kick. That's what that was. Whoa! Wait, it's her holiness. Uh oh, My time to say hi to Anya. figured out where we are. Tell us more. The air is sweltering, and I can hear the grinding of great gears. Why, this could only be. And shine. Exactly. Oh man, we were just there. What to you, Tiz? You're soaking wet. Oh, Leaking. this is soaking it's wet. A... Thank the heavens. Uh, what? For what? You're still bathing every day. I was worried the road had been hard on you. Oh, and look at you! Why, your face is all red! You mustn't stay in the hot water for too long. Well, we lost our connection. <laughs> for being the Empire's captive, she sure seems to be in good spirits. That's good, at least. I'll say. And now we know our next destination. Anshime isn't far from here. And with that, I must return to my studies. I can hardly wait to get back to the spire and begin analyzing all this data. Anything I can find out about balls, I promise you'll be the first to know. <laughs> Please do, Rifa, and I'll be sure to take copious She's notes. She's gonna teach us all about them balls. This has been a most enlightening excursion, my friends. Take care and be safe. I guess you can say she's about to go balls deep. Farewell, Rifa. Good luck in your studies. I did it. I did it. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, do. So what can we do? Looks like we can go to the weapon shop and... Oh, looks like we have an event by the weapon shop. Oh no, we're gonna get stopped by somebody else. Actually, I'm here to buy another large shield for my boy. We might as well buy another one. We got money. Is there anything I can sell that, you know, goes for a lot here? I wonder if I can sell my clothing. Damn. If they sold for like a hundred thousand, that'd be free. We got some Zeus's Wrath here. We got some gold hourglasses. Bomb arm. I'm not selling those, man. We got a new people with those. We about to nuke everybody that has a problem with us. Why did I do that? 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 Wait, what was that was I supposed to do? Was that? No, no, look, there's something here. There's an event here. Is it this old man? I am a wandering sushi chef. I shall teach you the trick to acquiring the freshest ingredients. Use staves and bowls to purify the undead and katana blades to uh, dice out water dwelling monsters, aquatic monsters. Oh, it's just telling me where I gotta go. Never mind. I thought there was an event right there. See, now it's all freaking... Man, it's all sunny now, dude. It was just raining and hailing, and now it's sunny. It's all pretty warm, man. It's, into the, it's gotta be tis, man. You need to change that 666 health, man. You ain't doing me no good right now. I'm about to love him. Oh my god, Ant Chime is doing this BS again. Oh my god, the windmills are not working again. Whoa, 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 what's this? A sandstorm? 
Ow. I think I got something in my eye. Are you all right, you? Well, this won't do. We can't even get close to the city. I hope the people inside are okay. Do you have some connection here, Idia? You bet we do. Now, I wasn't going to tell the story, but hey, if you insist. And I must say, it's quite a tale. You'll laugh, you'll cry. On second thought, it sounds long. Let's save it for another day. Oh, come on. Hey, here, I'll just give you the highlights. Long story short, Anshine was a land of booming industry, powered by harnessing the force of the wind. But when we came here, the wind crystal was engulfed in darkness, and the winds had gone still. A group of shifty schemers took advantage of the situation, manipulating the people for their own profit. Together with Agnes, we awakened the crystal, got the winds blowing again, and brought the bad guys to justice. Wow, what a clear and concise explanation. You sure have a way with words, sir. What a remarkable tale. Grr, grr, grr. You just had to go and steal my spotlight. But go figure. Last time we were here, there was no wind at all. Now it's blowing so strong we can't even get in. I'll bet you peed to pancakes that that Kaiser is behind this. He's trying to keep us away from Agnes. Let's return to El Campus. No! If the sandstorm is magical in origin, surely someone in the Department of Sorcery will know how to dispel it. Now that sounds like a plan. Let's go. More backtracking. We gotta do more backtracking. Backtracking. We gotta do more backtracking. Ba -bum -ba -dum. Uh, where am I? Too far up. So we're gonna go big. We're gonna go back to out campus. Ba -bum -ba -dum, ba -bum -ba -dum, ba -bum. Over here, Steve. Right here. Yeah, that's right. Zoom in. Come on. A little bit closer, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. There you go, man. Oh, no. We got to talk to Fatty McFat Cakes. No. We got to talk to this jerk. Do you have a moment of your time? Hmm. Five star scholar Pudgy is dismal has no time for peasants and pudding heads. Pudding heads? Yeah! It's that fat head who was picking on Rifa. <laughs> Called him a fat head. Damn, I ain't hear that in a minute. I haven't heard that in years. Called him a fat head. I'm just waiting for her to call it a fart knocker, dude. Can we go with a fart knocker? Come on, I'm waiting for somebody to call. This dude a fart knocker. I, I was just bust out laughing and one of the characters said that. Picking on Rifa? Me? Watch your tongue, you no-star boar! I merely deign to give the girl the opportunity to assist her superior. Good gravy. Good gravy. Look, Rifa's a friend of mine. Couldn't you just leave her alone? And who are you to give orders to me? Hmm? Are you even an Al Campus alumnus? My name is you. You, Cheniolja. What? Of House Cheniolja? And, uh, if I might be so bold as to inquire, how many stars did you have during your time here at our alma mater? I was a five star. Same as you. I see, I see. So we are equals. <laughs> nah, fam. We ain't equals. Well, when I graduated, they they added a six. That's right. Uh, a hundred, no, a thousand apologies. Uh, I'll leave Reef alone. You have my word. Well, that was easy. Talk about a clear-cut case of classism. He sounds like a completely different person. I didn't want to have to pull rank, but if it helps out Rifa, it's worth it. Is there any other way I might be of assistance? If Pudgy Bismol can do anything for you, simply speak the word. Now that you mention it, we have business in Ansheim, but the city's caught in a vicious sandstorm. We're looking for a way to quell the winds. Do you know anyone in El Campus who could help us? A sandstorm? Oh, why, you should speak to Professor Norzen. Professor Norzen? 
The Professor Norzen? You know this professor? Of course. He's practically a legend in our campus. They say his knowledge of all fields of magic is second to none. Gosh, if the stories are true, the professor could stop a sandstorm with a wave of his hand. Damn. That said, that I've never powerful? actually spoken to him. But rumor has it, he hasn't left his office in years. Uh, if I may, I overheard my classmates saying they spotted him on campus not days ago. They saw him heading into the Arcanatorium in the Spire of Learning. Mayhaps you should pay a visit? Thank you. I think we'll do just that. You're most welcome. Yes, most welcome indeed. All right. Damn, man. Professor Norzen's Here office should be just this way. Hold it right there. Only faculty are allowed to be on this point. Run along now. Wow, he looks like House. This lecturer looks like House, dude. Look at him. Look at him. If, if, if House was like a chibi version. Look at him. Look at his face. Look at the beard. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Come on, you can't tell me that don't look like house. But we're here to see Professor Norzen. Hey, you! Put those six stars of yours to work! Um, I'm you, Jenny Olja, El Campus alumnus. I am a, uh, six star scholar, sir. Be that as it may. I'm sorry. I was specifically instructed not to admit anyone. Oh, uh, don't be a Please buster. Don't be a buster, dude. Come on. Let us in. Don't be a buster. He's still watching us. What should we do? Take we'll him out. We just have to come back at night and sneak in. Or take him now out. the question. Or take him out. Huh? Why? If we come back after that teacher goes home, we just might be able to slip inside. Trust me, coming here at night is not a good idea. And I'm asking why. And I'll tell you why. Because it's against campus rules. Yep, no students allowed inside after sundown. Too bad, but rules Sounds are rules. Sounds like there's more to it. What about that sign? Take care with lamps when entering the spire at night. Only you can prevent campus fires. Oh my Doesn't god. sound like we'd be breaking any rules. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no getting anything oh by you, God, is there, sir? Oh my God, they did that. So, why is sneaking in at night such a bad idea? All right, you got me. It's the seven horrors. It's the seven horrors of El Campus. Oh no, seven come horrors? on. Oh, we had silly ghost stories at the Officers Academy in Eternia, too. I'm telling you, the seven horrors of El Campus are true. Mr. Bones, the skeleton in the biology lab that comes to life at night? I'll yeah, body this Mr. Bones. Too. The peeping portrait. A painting of Arca Peller in the music room. Whose eyebrows move? <gasps> Not his eyes? Bloody Maury. The giant eel in the bathroom mirror. Maury, oh my uh, god. Please, the stop. The gargantuan professor no. who roams the hallways in search of truant students. You. Fluffy, the black cat that causes bad luck when it crosses your path. This is not a good look for you. No, seriously, it's not a good look, you. I'm not feeling the horror. The disembodied voice taking role in an empty lecture hall, but never able to finish because it's always interrupted by it. He just fought a ball and he scared at some ghost. Well, I'm more afraid of things you can't see, you know? Oh my god. Ah! Ah! Oh, don't do that, Magnolia. You scared me after death. He's got that uh, Yukari logic going on. Well, I'm only afraid of things that I can't see. And uh, if I can see it, I can body it. <laughs> but I just saw a mouse! A mouse? You see? Look how scared we all are! How do you know what a mouse looked like if you lived on the moon? You know what? I ain't gonna question that logic again. Let's forget <laughs> about the silly idea of sneaking in at night, okay? Okay. Oh, man. Now, now, this is all just superstition. Let's head out and come back after sundown. Doesn't anything scare you, sir? No, nah, man. He T-Dog. T-Dog was the Dark Knight. 
He was the Dark Knight. 